Happy New Year, YouTube. Well, I wasn't going to make a video, especially so soon after midnight, but it's about an hour after midnight on New Year's now day. And I'm like, you know what, let me get this out of the way. Um, actually, where I'm at, I don't actually have my, um, my acquisitions for December, but um, I'm going to make do out of it. I'm going to figure something out just so I could post on the first usually, and then I'll post another one up sometime next week with everything I got in December. In the interim, silver was actually up 30 cents this month from last month's $15.46 close on the 30th of November. So we end at fifteen seventy six. Not much of a change, but you know what? Up is good for anything. So I'm happy about that. Um, you know, this is actually the 12th month that I'm stacking, the month of December. So my, um, my purchases and acquisitions for this month are my one-year mark. Uh, actually, officially, it's January the 15th more or less. Um, so I'm just going to use December as my end of year and I'm going to do my December acquisition video like I said this week and in the middle of January sometime I'm going to do a full stack video. Um, you know a lot of people do them and they are great and everybody should be proud of what they had um, accomplished because really that's what it is in uh, a new year when you have your end of year or anniversary, one year, two year, 20 year stacking video, um, you know, it's an accomplishment no matter what. And, you know, you look at 2015 and we ended 2014 and silver's down and we're now in a new year of 2015. And um, on the bright side, silver ended up after having so many months down in a row so, you know, you have to look at the bright side and things and say, hey, you know, I might be averaged in at $24 an ounce or so um, with all my shipping costs, but, you know, try to buy an ounce of silver for $15.76, anything with quality, not just a round. And uh, you're going to have a, be hard-pressed in doing that, you know? You're going to spend $18 to $19 for that piece, even a Silver Eagle. Let's say you get it for $19. You're still going to have to pay for shipping most of the time um, or buy at least $100 on some sites. So, you know, you're still paying $20, $21. And, hey, in the end, you're just stacking. And the prices that you see now, years from now, even if it doubles years from now, you know, it's fine. It's a savings account, more or less, hoping that we never have to use it for any horrible purposes, but, you know, wanting to have a lot of silver just to hedge us in case something does happen, not a bad thing. Anyway, um, I was thinking, what am I going to do on New Year's? And um, I've wrestled with the fact of... Um, adding my slabbed pieces to the amount that I'm spending for bullion, so to speak, my cost average. And I haven't done it. I've done it on a few pieces that count as my, um, you know, my stack, my bullion that happen to be slab pieces that I bought, but I haven't done it in all of them. So, you know what, I'm going to show you my slab pieces here. And, um, you know, I have a nice amount of them. And more or less, you know, I want to hear your ideas if I should add it to my cost average or not, because they are different. Um, first one I have here, I actually spent about 160 for it, and it is a PCGS uh, 69 Silver Eagle, uh, and it is an actual S. And so when you look at it, we've had a conversation about this on the back you have an actual S right here. And um, there's only about 100,000 of these made. So it's a heck of a coin, and it's 2011. And this is actually my 2011 set right here. I have, I have an early release uh, MS-69 that I got. I have a, uh, a W, 2011 W. It's a proof. 
I have another 2011 W. It's a proof. I don't buy a lot of slabs. Maybe I buy one or two a month, but you know what? They start to add up over time, and it's pretty great. Um, you know, I have another 2011 W I got. I have uh, three 2011 proof 70s. Uh, I have, you know, a 120th, two tenths of an ounce. I have a 2011 uh, Proof 69 Libertad, more Libertads, there's a Liber Libertad section, a 2011 MS70 Libertad. Um, all of these I've shown in past videos, a 2000 Leaf Erickson, I actually love this coin. This is the front of it. And this, it's really beautiful actually, is the back of it. It's very, very cool commemorative. I don't like commemoratives that much, but that one I thought was pretty cool, and I got it for a great price. Um, I have two 2011 MS-70 Year of the Rabbits, 2011 MS-70 Panda, 2011, can you see a theme here, of the Grizzly Bear, Canada's MS-70, and same thing with the 2011 Wolf. So, you know, they're all 69, 70s. Actually, most of them are 70s. Just the American ones are uh, 69s. One low 67, but, you know, I got it for like $20, so it was kind of worth it. Um, so, yeah, so that's my question. Should I add slab coins to my total stack cost average, or should I just separate them and keep my other coins separate? I always look for... Um, questions, advice, you know, anything anybody has, bring to the table, please. It's a new year. And um, I'll just be on in a couple days and I'll do my actual video. Uh, I hope everybody had a wonderful new year. And um, I hope everybody has wonderful things happen in 2015. To the best, everybody. The best that has to offer in 2015. Again, happy new year.